So this is a video I've been meaning to do for a little while now, but I got sick. This was my last pickup of 2021. I responded to a Facebook Marketplace ad saying 200 comic books for $50. Um, the image showed a few like Venom Lethal Protectors, a few Spawn Issue ones. So I was like, 200 comic books, including those for $50. I'll take the risk, see what I can get. Um, clearly, I got more than uh, 200 books. There's closer to 700 books. Uh, a lot of Wraith in this first box. Um, I did already sort of sort through them all before I recorded. Um, the Walking Dead were spread out between all three boxes, but there was a lot of Walking Dead comics. A few uh, issue one reprints. Um, a lot of like issues 101 to like 113. And then starting with I think 115, there was every variant cover from 115 and then two of each of every cover up until... 130 so a lot of walking dead books um which are cool aside from the walking dead books there's um there's a game of thrones comic um there's a lot of sons of anarchy i think every issue at least of the first six or so um, then we got to the Batman books. Uh, there was a decent amount of DC and Batman books, you know, a few detective comics. I haven't actually gone through. I'm not a huge DC fan. I'm going to be keeping all of these, but I don't actually know if there's any keys or anything in them. Uh, there's the Batman black and white, as you can see. Uh, the Batman Eternal books. Uh, there's the first three issues, I think, of Outcast. Uh, first four issues of Outcast. Uh, there's two issues of the Deadpool uh, wedding. Um, Long Shot Saves the Marvel Universe, which was kind of a random comic to find in here. There's only one X-Men comic. There was a... This one was um, Origin of Simon Baz. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's signed by Jeff Johns to Bailey. Not sure that's who I bought from, but... And, you know, a few other Green Lantern books. Uh, Inhuman issue one, which was a book I was hunting for a few months ago. So now I have three. A lot of Harley Quinn. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I may have the full run of a... Uh, this Harley Quinn. Uh, some Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, a few Spider-Man books I was actually hunting for. There's a cool variant cover there. Um, another variant cover. Miles' his second solo series. Now I have his first and second solo series issue ones. This one's actually the first three. This is the first cameo appearance of Cindy Moon, which is one I've been wanting. This one was not one I was familiar with, but happy to have it. And then there was two of uh, issue 700, which I have been hunting for, so. This box really isn't for me. Um, I'm probably not going to be keeping anything from this box, honestly. Angry Birds comic, though, you know, always a winner. <laughs> uh, but yeah. A lot of, like, the Grim Fairy Tales and, um, Soulfire, I think. Uh, Chaos Comics, a lot of that kind of stuff. Not, not anything I personally collect. So, hopefully I'll just be able to make my $50 back right from this box and, and be able to keep everything else from my personal collection. This final box was the most shocking to go through. I... There's a few Star Wars books, a lot of mask books, um, first appearance of the mask, I'm pretty sure, a few of that. First appearance of Beavis and Butthead and Daria. Uh, this one was really cool, the first actual appearance of Spawn and cover. That's, a, that's, that's gonna go right into my personal Grail collection. And then I knew there was a few first Spawn uh, solos. Um, well, issue one of Spawn. I didn't know there would be 20 of them. The image showed, like, four. 
Uh, then there's issues two, I think three. And then it goes to seven and eight. Uh, there's like five of Punisher 2099 issue. Maybe there's more than five. Uh, yeah, four copies of Venom Lethal Protector issue one, which is always a cool one to get. Three copies of Spider Man 2099 issue one, another always cool one to get. 375. I am now the elusive Dark Hawk first appearance club. Uh, thank you. Been hunting for that one. These were the only books in bad shape, everything else was in great shape. Thanos Quest, issue one. I found issue two, ironically, uh, at a garage sale for, like, 25 cents not too long ago when I also bought, like, a whole lot of comics. So, I now have issues one and two of Thanos Quest, which is cool. Uh, a lot of first Wildcats, Alien books. This one got me really excited. Still a good book. It's the third print, actually, of Aliens, issue one. So, the first screens of the Xenomorphs and stuff in comics. But third print. So still on the hunt for the first two printings. And then it was just a bunch of um Valiant comics. Uh, you know, Magnus, Archer and Armstrong, Bloodshot. Honestly, I'm not a big Valiant guy. But I'll see. Some of those might be for my PC. And then finally. Going off the high of, you know, the books I just bought, I was like can in the day here so i also went to second and charles and picked up some books so second and charles was having a sale buy five books get five books free um so first off i got the first appearance of vigilante uh this key oh yeah wait i'll show you prices I didn't mention it. These What The Comics are a small line to collect. That's the first appearance of uh, Miles Morhamis, uh, Spider-Man 2099. Oh, these are from a comic shop. Oops. Well, I got all of these books for $9. Then I also picked up, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot I bought these. Uh, I got this one from a comic shop for $15. Oh, uh, this was two dollars, two dollars. Although I ended up getting another one of these for a dollar the other day, and then uh, this was five. But I've just been looking for it. First cameo of rescue. And now to end this video, I just want to show you guys something I'm very excited about finding. I'll explain it a little bit in a second, but let's just say I was exploring some of my comic boxes at my parents' house as we're sort of changing everything up, trying to clean up around that house and everything. I haven't looked through a lot of these comics in years so i have absolutely zero idea what i have about two years back i had a log of the books that i had that i lost through some app that all the data got erased so so i know absolutely nothing about what books i actually have still at my parents house besides the ones i remember so i found a pretty crazy sadly low grade i didn't find it bagged or boarded but um first appearance that uh you'll see in a second now so i'm at my parents house i uh i was going through some comic books um, and I found that I had a bunch of comics in little magazine holders on the shelf that I, uh, I completely forgot about. Um, so I decided to go through them, move them all over to a long box. Uh, I haven't really looked through any of them. I don't know what's in there. Uh, I really have no idea. But... One thing I did see that caught my eye, which I have now bagged and boarded because it was not bagged and boarded before. I need to get better bagged and board. Was this. It's not the greatest shape, but it is the new stand. Uh, I'm pretty excited. Yeah, let me know what you think. I paid $50 for those three long boxes, and then I paid another $9 for the second and Charles books. So... Around $60 total. Tell me what you think about what I got. What books do you have in your collection that I got already? What books have you been hunting for? Let me know down below.